Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and um, thank you, Les, for that good building. Uh, I'm Karen James, um, and thank you for coming along this morning to this very early LinkedIn masterclass. I'd like to start with a question. Have you ever been to a networking event? You've collected lots of business cards, you've gone back to the office, and you've put them in your drawer. Well, brilliant news for you. You can now do exactly the same on LinkedIn. You can add lots of connections on there until you get that magic number, 500 plus connections. And then obviously, you've achieved success, haven't you? You've got 500 plus connections. You're a super networker, right? Eh -eh. Wrong. All you've got is 500 business cards collecting dust in your drawer. But what if you could use LinkedIn to showcase how brilliant you are? What if you could use LinkedIn to build a network of people who are interested in you and can help you achieve your goals? And how powerful would it be if you could use LinkedIn to showcase your expertise to a really wide audience? Would you be interested in that? Well, over the next 20 minutes or so, I'm going to share seven tips with you that will help you do just that. There will be an opportunity for questions at the end, so if you think of any, just make a note and we'll, we'll deal with them then. Okay, so let's get started. The foundation of your LinkedIn strategy is your profile. Your profile in LinkedIn is where you can showcase who you are, who you help, and how you help them. Your profile should be so compelling that people want to know more about you immediately. So here's your first tip. Make your headline stand out. If you were at a networking event and someone said to you, what do you do? I'm sure you'd come back with some really snappy answer about the benefits you deliver, wouldn't you? Your headline needs to be like your 10 second pitch. It really needs to stand out. Because if someone is doing a search on LinkedIn, there's only a snippet of your profile that shows up. And one of the things that shows up is the headline. So let's pretend you were doing a search on LinkedIn because you wanted to find someone who could help you with presentation skills. You do the search, and these two profiles are the ones that show up. Which one do you think you'd want to know more about? Would you want to know more about John A, who is owner of Business X? Or would you tend to click on the top one, Communications Maven? Someone who's saying, are you terrified of public speaking? Yeah. Want to deliver stunning presentations? Communicate effectively? Perhaps I can help. I know which one I'd click on. So make your headline stand out. Use words that make people want to know more about you. Okay, so far so good. Someone's found you in a, in a search, they've clicked on your headline, and they're going to go through to your profile, where they're going to see a summary of what you can do to help them. But, oh dear, there isn't one. They then have to search all around your profile, possibly click on your website link, go through to your website, look on several different pages, just to get an idea of how you can help. So here's tip two. Fill in your summary section and make it equally as good as your headline. If your headline was your 10 second pitch, your summary is your 60 second pitch. I see people in the audience saying, I don't like 60 second pictures. But with the summary, you've got time to think about it and put some thought into it. Tell people how you help them. Tell them what kind of businesses you help. If you've got a good example of how you've helped a business, put that into it as well. Help people self-select themselves so they want to know more about you and how you can help. So that's the summary. 
So you've got your, your headline sorted out, you, somebody's clicked on it, come to it through, through to your summary and then find out more about you.